That was just one of many announcements from the city of Tulsa's latest update that happened late this afternoon. Our Shea Smith was there as city leaders each gave an update on the situation across the metro. So Shea, what is the latest for Tulsans? Aaron, that's right. City leaders from Tulsa gave us an update this afternoon about the recovery efforts and what is next after Sunday early morning's storm. Now, Mayor G.T. Bynum, along with Tulsa Police Chief Wendell Franklin, Tulsa Fire Chief Mike Baker, along with spokespersons from EMSA, Emergency Management, and PSO, all discussed the current situation and the next steps moving forward. Now, PSO says this recovery effort is the most significant since the ice storm in 2007. PSO says they brought in extra staff to help with recovery efforts and that power restoration. Tulsa Police Chief Wendell Franklin and Chief Fire uh, Fire Chief Baker told us they are upping staffing amid the high volume of calls that they are currently getting. Now, if you've driven by a gas station, you have probably noticed long lines of cars waiting to get to the pump or even worse, you've noticed that the gas station has no gas. Now, I asked Mayor G.T. Bynum if a fuel shortage was a concern for the city at all, and this is what he said. The supply of fuel to customers in the city is a definite concern for us. Uh, we're in contact today with the teams at both Holly and Magellan uh, to find out what we can be doing to support them getting their operations back up and running, which are the primary sources of fuel to our community. Um, they are working with uh, both PSO and the Oklahoma Department of Environmental Quality to get everything back up and running. And uh, you know, I, we were communicating with them as recently as about 10 minutes before we started this press conference just to see what they need uh, to get everything uh, restored. A main theme that everyone who spoke touched on, though, was having patience with each other, with the linemen and with the crews out there working to get the power restored. Also having patience with each other when it comes to those four way stop signs with the stoplights out. Now coming up tonight at six, I'll have more on the Tulsa police chief explaining more about how he is dispatching extra patrol units. Also about Tulsa fire saying that they've added four more units because of the high number of uh, vol uh, high volume of calls. Plus, EMSA is saying that their volume call is up 150 percent. I'll have more on that as well. Live in Tulsa, Shay Smith, 2 News, Oklahoma.